What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we want to show you how to make your own DIY infinity mirror. This was recently implemented in some of the in-win infinity cases so I hope you all enjoy and this can be made for very cheap. Now a lot of people decide to use mirrors however I feel like this would be a more expensive and more unreliable aspect for normal everyday people to engage in. This is because a lot of people might not have the tools to actually cut the mirror to size so for this one we're going to use some acrylic and obviously some mirrored window tint. So I've just gone to the $2 shop and bought a picture frame which will work really nicely as long as it's got that lip where the LED can fit. So I've just cut out the shape, I've sanded down all the sides and now we're going to take the picture frame out, remove all of the stuff inside and we're going to be using the glass and the acrylic that we just cut out. So we'll keep that backboard, that'll allow us to keep the window back in place and we'll just chuck that cardboard away because there is no need for that anymore. So we've got the glass out and now we're going to work on the LEDs. These are just some RGB LED strips, you can pick them off Amazon for very cheap. I got a 5 meter kit and they come with 3 wires so I'm just stripping them apart. I cut the end bit off and then I'm going to use my wire strippers to reveal some wire. Now the reason I'm revealing some wire is because I want to add a bit more wire to the end of these to make it a lot longer so I have flexibility of hiding the RGB controller when that comes to that point. Now I'm just measuring on the frame where I want the wires to poke through. So I'm just gonna be drilling a small hole right there where I've marked it with the pen. Using my drill, just doing a small hole. I'm trying to keep it quite close to the edge because I want a nice clean finish. So keeping it close to the edge means that the LED strip can still stick flat onto the inside of the frame and the wires can still come through and look fairly nice. Okay, on to our glass panel, which actually came with the picture frame. So I'm just gonna give it a wipe down. I'm using some warm soapy water just to get all of the marks off. Now here is our mirrored window tint. I'll leave links down below to where you can find some of this on Amazon or eBay. Um, it is highly mirrored, so definitely something you wanna look for because the mirrored reflection is what actually causes the infinity mirror appearance. So I've just cut that out to size. It is a tiny bit bigger than the actual glass panel. And now we're wetting the glass panel with our warm soapy water so that we can use the warm soapy water to get out any air bubbles. So I've peeled back the film, I'm placing it down. You don't have to place it completely flat because when we place it down and grab our card, this will help us to get the bubbles out and the water actually aids us in doing that. So just using my card, I'm just gonna squeegee out all of that air, all of that water until it is nice and flat and looks nice and clean. It's a fairly simple process. Take your time guys and you should end with a really nice result. So now that we do have it cut out, we're just going to go over it a final time just to get all those smaller bubbles out. And now we're going to cut off the excess with a nice sharp blade, just so we're left with the glass panel itself, which is nicely covered. So now we're peeling off the second sheet and we're going to be covering our piece of acrylic now exactly the same way, making sure that the vinyl is wet, making sure that the acrylic is wet, and then using our card or a squeegee if you do have one to remove all of that excess. And here's what it looks like with the mirror in place. Now, a lot of people will actually use a mirror for this section, and this is why this is a nice budget addition because we're just using some of that vinyl which we would have had left over anyway to create that mirror. So instead of going out and buying a mirror, we're essentially saving all of that money. 
Now what I'm doing is I've put the wire through the hole that we drilled out before and we're going to be sticking our LEDs down. We're making sure that it is stuck down in the middle for a nice, smooth, clean finish when the LEDs are turned on. Pretty simple guys, make sure you have part of the LED actually overlapping because you'd rather it overlap than not actually make the loop at all. Now I'm going to put my wire extensions on, twisting them like so a few times just to make sure that they do not come apart. Now normally I would use a soldering iron to solder them together, but I'm sure that a lot of you guys at home wouldn't have one of them, so we're going to use one of these methods. You can actually pick up some heat shrink for really cheap just from your local hardware store and applying this on all of those cables just to make sure that it stays in place. All you have to do is heat up that heat shrink using either a heat gun or a lighter and that will shrink it down and will hold all of the wires in place. You could also use some electrical tape which will work also. Now I've picked up this RGB music controller. It basically just gives me a lot of functions with the RGB LED lights. You guys don't necessarily have to use one of these. You can just hook it up to a 12 volt power supply or you can even wire it up to a Molex connection and use it in your PC because Molex is 12 volts and these LEDs are rated for up to 12 volts. So you should have no problems there. All I'm doing is I'm wiring up a 12 volt power supply to this and then I'm putting it in the power socket and when I turn it on obviously it is supplied with power. Now if you did want this in your PC Molex would be the easier option because of course you don't need to use another power outlet. Pretty simple guys, pretty easy, it's all in place, all ready to go. All you have to do is place your mirrored acrylic sheet on top And this is what you are left with, an endless light supply, creating that infinity mirror look. I hope you all enjoyed this DIY tutorial. Certainly give it a go on adding it to your PC. You can even cut out the front of your PC and add it to the front yourself. Of course, feel free to make your own frame to the size that you wish. For this one, I just used a picture frame because it was nice and simple, guys, just to give you all the ideas. I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to check out more custom PCs on the channel, more modding tutorials, DIY liquid cooling tutorials, and we'll see you all in the next one.